welcome back. Or if you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Leia. Thank you so much for joining me here today. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a tag that I watched this morning and I watched the creator Cheyenne A um, do the holiday makeup tag. Now this was created by, let me pull it up here, Stacy Lee Beauty and life with Queenie. So I will leave all of their channels and videos linked in the description box below so you can go and check them out. That sounded very aggressive. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so in case you're wondering what's going on with my face because honestly until I go and edit I'm not sure how it's actually going to look. I did an eye swatch video for some Luxie shadows that I purchased. Um, if it's already up I will link it again in the description box below. If it isn't up stay tuned and look out for that video. Um, but yeah my eyes are a little red, no, well not red, but they're a little watery and irritated right now and I just kind of went with a simple shadow that was the last one that I did and so if my foundation looks a little wonky or my face you know what it is what it is and then I went with this bold lip because I thought hey that's festive and yeah it gave me some trouble so we're just going with it because yeah we are anyway let's get into the holiday makeup tag question number one did you shop on Black Friday no I didn't I normally don't in Canada our big sale day is not Black Friday we have Boxing Day the day after Christmas um, we celebrate Thanksgiving in um, October on a Monday and so technically if we did a black for, well it'd be black Tuesday because the next day is Tuesday and everyone's back to work but I've noticed that a lot of retailers here in Canada including places like Amazon they for the last couple of years have had some Black Friday sales going on but yeah in Canada it's mainly Boxing Day but I did not shop Black Friday at all if I ever do and when I do um, it's online and I don't even do the Boxing Day sales because those are crazy. I remember going once with my family. I was like 11 or 12 and we went to the mall on Boxing Day the day after Christmas because I needed a new winter coat. I can still picture the coat. It was like a maroon suede winter coat with like the middle was like a wool detail. Anyway, I remember the experience because the mall was crowded and I absolutely hated it. So that's not for me. I'd rather pay full price or I'm happy to buy things online and get a deal that way. Long-winded way to say no, I did not shop on Black Friday today, this year. Number two, Christmas cookies or candy. And for me, that for sure would be Christmas cookies. I always remembered my Oma making the German cookies and we would always see them around Christmas time um, because they lived a few hours away. So yeah, that's a big memory for me. Number three, real or faux tree. I have enough things to take care of and clean up. I don't need to clean up pine branches faux tree all the way. It's pre-lit. I don't have to struggle with it. And if I want it to smell like pine in my house, I just put a pine scented oil in my diffuser and there you go. Number four, white lights or colored lights. I personally prefer white lights inside and then colored lights on the house. And then the icicle lights have to be white. Um, but my tree is colored because that is what my children and my husband like. So I've compromised. <laughs> The tree is colored, the rest of the lights that we have inside the house are white, and then outside it's colored except for the icicles, which again are white. Number five, do you get excited for holiday gift sets? Uh, I get excited to look at them and then when they come out I'm like, ah, nah, I'm not really interested in, in any of that. Very rarely do I buy a holiday set. I ended up buying one this year, but I wanted to buy um, the Fragrance Alien from Muggler, or Mugler. Anyway, I've been wanting to purchase it for a while and it's been sold out for a while at Shoppers Drug Mart and I wanted to get it there because I have optimum points, which means I had enough to get it for free except for paying the tax. Um, but it was sold out for so long, but then a holiday set came with the lotion and a perfume pen and the actual perfume. So, and it was a dollar more than just the perfume on its own and it was the same size. So I did pick that up, but usually I'm disappointed by, you know, like the Sephora favorite sets that come out. It'll have a couple of shades in it that I like, but some of the stuff I've already had and I'm not really interested in repurchasing or it has colors in it that I'm not really going to like. So if it's not something across the board that I'm going to use, I'd rather just save up and buy the individual items in it that I really want. Number six, homemade ornaments or store-bought. And for me, store-bought, um, I, I like the idea of doing homemade ones. I make them with my kids often just because the lower part of our Christmas tree is the kids' part and the higher part is my part with my 
my pretty decorations. Um, and so the lower part, those ones get kind of mangled and wrecked and don't always survive a season. So it's always fun to make new ones with them. They enjoy it for the season. And then if they don't survive, then we just make new ones the next year. So that's kind of what I do. Number seven, do you peek at presents or like to be surprised? I like to be surprised. When I was a kid, I used to peek all the time. I got really good at, you know, getting in the paper. And sometimes I wouldn't even like lift the tape. I would just kind of like lift it a little bit on the edge and I could peek in and see, you know, oh, it's a My Little Pony or whatever. Um, so yeah, I did that. My husband always tries to fool me um, and he gets mad because I always end up guessing what he's gotten me. Like, oh, these are a bunch of DVDs wrapped with something squishy, perhaps some socks that you're trying to disguise the DVDs with. But the reason why I know is because he never strays far from my list that I give him. So I enjoy what he gives me because he's buying what's on my list, but very rarely am I surprised anyway. Um, but I do like to be surprised, but I kind of ruin it for myself, I guess. <laughs> Maybe I haven't. Maybe I do like peeking still. I don't know. Number eight, wrapping paper or gift bags. Now, here's the thing. I love the idea of ripping open presents and having wrapping paper everywhere on Christmas. There's just something so exciting about it than like, oh, opening a box or a bag and a little bit of tissue paper. Like you want that excitement to rip into a package and, you know, tear the paper. We don't keep paper around here. We don't fold it up. I don't have time for that. So yes, we like to rip it. However, I hate wrapping presents. I'd rather put it in a nice gift box and give it to you with a little bit of tissue paper. Um, but because, you know, the enjoyment is there even for myself to like rip apart the paper and get into a gift, I do, I do suck it up and I wrap presents or I give them to my husband and say, okay, these are for you to do. Usually on Christmas Eve at the last minute we do that. Yeah. Because apparently we didn't know all year that they had to be ready for the next day, but Number nine, favorite holiday movie. That would be National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, followed closely by Christmas Story. Number 10, favorite holiday song. I love the song, Do You Hear What I Hear? I just, I love the meaning behind it. I think it's pretty. I love like the, the melody and everything. I love it. However, I did hear a new rendition of Mary Did You Know this year. Um, oh, it's so good. It's Mary Did You Know, and it's kind of mashed up with Reckless Love, the song. Oh, it melts my heart every time I hear it. And it's so well done as well. So that's kind of like maybe a close second for me this year too. Number 11, dress up or dress down for Christmas dinner. Dress up. Yes. I mean, I'll have like comfy jeans on, but a nice shirt, do my makeup. Maybe I'll wear lashes. Maybe I won't. But yeah, I'm going to dress up. Number 12, favorite holiday tradition. Um, every year I bake a cake for baby Jesus for his birthday. And they've gotten more elaborate over the years. Before it was just a sheet cake in the mix or whatever. And, and now, you know, it's like a layered cake and like two tiers. And, you know, happy birthday, Jesus. Your cake's yummy. Number 13, do you set New Year's resolutions? No. I know myself too well to even put, you know, the bother into it is, is pointless. So, and the last one, number 14, stay in or go out for New Year's. And we always stay in. Um, we always end up doing like, um, finger food and appetizers, kind of a dinner sort of thing, <laughs> you know, mozzarella sticks and that, you know, coiled Greek thing that the pastry with the flaky, flaky pastry and like the feta cheese and stuff in it. And it's coiled. That's why I'm doing this. Uh, we do that and then some other things. And then we always go overboard and have like a candy bar because we, we get all our favorites, but we get way too much of all of it. And then a few days later, we're like, get this away from me. Um, and yeah, my kids enjoy it too. I have four kids, so it's just, it's not just me and my husband doing this. Um, but yeah, so we have that and then the kids go to bed. We don't stay up with them. My daughter might this year because she's 12, but for the most part, they don't stay up. They get tired. They get cranky. No one wants to deal with them in the morning. Um, but when they go to bed, me and my husband every year, our tra tradition is to watch the movie Gremlins. So that's what we do. Okay. And those are all the questions. I haven't, again, thought far enough ahead of who I'm going to tag. And you very well might not have time by the time this video actually gets uploaded and you watch it, but I will tag a few people. I'll put it in the description box below if I'm tagging you, but yeah, no, I mean, there's never any realistically, there's never any pressure to do a tag, but 
definitely no pressure if you don't get it done you don't do it that's fine this was fun for me to do let me know in the comments below some of your answers to these questions. Do you have any holiday or Christmas traditions um, that you like to do? Anything that's super unique that you might want to share? You know, give us some ideas for this year because let's face it, it's going to be different for a lot of us. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.